On July 29, 1967, in the Gulf of Tonkin off of Vietnam, a catastrophic accident occurred on the USS Forrestal. Patriots Point volunteer Bob Williams was actually there. Let's listen to his story. The Forrestal was the first supercarrier. It was the first one with the angle deck. Had around, oh, 5,300 men. We were back on the Forrestal and we are going to have back to Vietnam and uh, we were getting ready to be a, a, an Alpha Strike. An Alpha Strike is a group of 35 to 40 aircraft heading for one target. I was sitting on the starboard side. The A6s were here and then the, F, the FAAs were here and the F4s here and then the A4s were all hanging out here on this side getting ready to launch. So I was in my aircraft. So I was moving forward and started moving maybe 50 feet or something like that. Started moving towards the catapult. And about that time, it, it was a Zuni rocket that had come from on the starboard side. that went across the flight deck, hit it. another A4 in the tanks and started it. I looked back and looked back and I could see it looked like a fire fan going on. Crazy stuff going on. Bomb went off. People running around and everything. And all the smoke and everything. Looked out back side of me, back that way. And a couple more bombs went off. And I don't know how many or whatever. I think they say that afterwards that the, there were nine bombs that went out and went off. And plus there were some rockets went up. Some of these rockets were going off. And the BN said, so we've got fuel come out of our starboard wing. So the wings were still folded. And uh, so I looked out and I could see it looked like a stream of fuel about this coming out of the wing and going on the, on the deck and shut it down, opened the canopy, dropped down to the deck. And we went around behind the island and there must have been 20 some people back there and uh, saw a guy, found a guy with a big chunk out of his right knee, and we decided we were gonna carry him down to sick bay. If you didn't know where sick bay was, you could follow the, uh, the blood. You could see him working on people back behind us. A lot of them were killed. I believe it was 134. I know several of them that survived, but I also know some that were killed too.